promise the next time you DJ, I'm going to be there. Brother Oliver, he knows everything. Yeah, he's one of the few people that I told about the rape, and he was a really just—he's a great brother to me. He wanted to go beat up every single guy that was at that party. I had to convince him not to. Of course, that was when I thought the guy was going to go to jail. Well, that's what we're hoping still happens. I've been thinking about this, and there might be something else we can do on our end. What do you mean? Well, other than the rape kit, the only thing the cops have is this photographer who threw the party. I know you spoke with him, but there might be something else that he didn't tell us. Right? Graham Darris, look, right there. He's talking about a new ad campaign, Forrester Creations. Just booked a new ad campaign for Forrester Creations. The hope for the future line is centered around Hope Logan, Brooke Logan's youngest daughter. Let me tell you, this girl has it. These pictures are going to be capital H-O-T. Well, at least we know he's an ally. Oh, God. I said we find him and talk to him. This is, uh, this is Graham. Graham. This is Nick Maroney over at Jackie M Designs. Hi. How, how can I help you? We are very interested in you, or your, your work. So I'd like to talk to you about possibly booking a job. Um, I'm, I'm actually, I'm in the middle of something at the moment. Can we talk about this another time? I understand that you, uh, you're working with Forrester Creations right now, so we certainly don't want to get in the way of that. So it'd probably be best if we could, uh, Actually meet, so I can see how you work and actually where you work and, and maybe how you work with your clients. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm actually uh, with a client right now, so can we maybe have this conversation tomorrow? I'll be in touch. Okay, I got a very weird vibe from this guy. Tell me about him. Now, I know you spoke to him after this happened, but really... What do you know about this guy? I mean, what kind of guy is he? I don't, I don't know. He, he seemed really shocked and very upset that something like that would happen to me at his place. And he, he said that he would do whatever he could to help me, but that there were a lot of people there, and he didn't even know them all. And then he left town. Nick, is it possible? I can't believe that it could be him, but what if I'm wrong? What if he's the guy? There's no telling how many women he could have lured up to that place. <laughs>